Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to a very pleasing Thursday, the 14th of April. It's only 35 degrees out here, but it feels like it's warmer than that, or you just got to that point where you used to it. Birds out there playing around. It's quiet. There's no snow, no hail, no sleet. It's just peaceful, it's just the birds out here. God almighty. Mama? Kelly? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were right behind me. Very pleasing out here today. It is. Probably just because of the fact it's not doing any crazy weather event at the moment. It's not yeah. or hailing. So. Let's just get back to the, to the normal spring like it should be. Enough of this. Mother Nature is not done yet. Lord help us. I don't think it's dripped a drop here in hours and hours. There's no I sign know, of wetness. It's dry, dry, which is yeah. really nice. Yeah, feels good. Mm -hmm. Looks good. It does. It seems warmer here, too. Yeah, I can't look at my watch. Yeah. <laughs> it's very yeah. deceiving. Yeah. <laughs> Open the door and go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mama, That's it is happening. Thursday. Yep, two more. Yep. And the weekend will be upon us once again. Same once again. All right. I'm glad the drive turned out nice and calm and safe. Yeah, that was good. A little yeah. sketchy Make there for a little yesterday. bit. Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> We're off. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye now. Mm, bye. The 2022 F3S Special Series. That is a wild color. It's got the RT style TFT in it. And it's missing a couple of components too. This is a silver one, which kind of looks like the old 2010 silver. But this thing in the sun, it's a black edition or dark edition as they call it. Oh, that looks so good out in the sun. Ooh, wish I'd have taken a picture or video of it yesterday. I mean, that really, really looks good. So I have no place to put these things. I don't want to put them on the floor. So I'm going to very neatly tucked in. I got to do alignment on this one. So the nice sunny day turned into uh, pouring down rain, a little, little sleet. <laughs> Crazy spring this year. I'm doing BRP testing at the moment. Uh, I've done it. I've got the uh, ATV side by side and Can Am on route to uh, to do to be completed with this year's certification. It's funny how it's sunshiny most of the drive home. You get here, you can tell a rain cloud passed through here before not too long ago. It's beautiful, all the green coming in. We're just admiring and admiring. There's a field out there, Mama. Still ain't for sale. What's wrong with them people? Yeah, they know the Mama wants that. And I must have needed some sleep. Holy moly, I came home sat down gun smoke was on on insp the old co the colored ones you know they have a whole bunch of but they're doing both the colored ones and the old original black and whites i sat down in that chair and i was out so <laughs> wow what a crazy vlog day but anyway i got the first of these things have been hard to come by and so Anyway, I want to stock up on these things because June 1st, everything's going to change here in Washington for the time being anyway. So anyway, I got another extended mag for my uh, standard Hellcat. So uh, it came it came with the, the flush mount 11 and then a 13. I, I just got another 13 because there'll be a 10 round max here in Washington pretty quick which is kind of a bummer. So, you know, I've showed you guys the CYA supply um, 
holsters, which I love these things, just how tight they fit, and they're just absolutely wonderful. And I told you that there's one that they announced or they started showing in stock for the Hellcat Pro. And just like all the other ones, for everything else that I have, a work of art. It's just a Kydex holster. I mean, it's not the end-all, be-all, but I love these things. What I like, like I mentioned before, is just how nice and tight and precision they fit. But there's a little weird thing with this Hellcat Pro that I guess I'm going to have to look to see if it's even available. But obviously there is one with a safety. So I look back and went, oh no, did I get one with a safety instead of one without? And I go, wait a minute, does the Hellcat even have a safety? Apparently it does. But um, they're only offering one with that little safety notch, which you're not going to notice other than seeing it. But that doesn't bother me one iota. Or maybe it's it's there for a kicker reason or something. I, I no idea. But isn't that nice? Man, oh man. <laughs> I love them holsters. So I did get one originally, and then I bought another one for the uh, Six Hour P365 XL. And I bought just the regular black. You can get these things in two versions. I think it's like a buck or two more for this. It's not real, but it looks like carbon fiber. And for whatever reason, I don't know if the plastic is different. I have no idea. But for some reason, the um, simulated carbon fiber uh, versions fit um, much better. So I that was the first one I got for the... Uh, 365 XL and um yeah I had to fiddle with it you know they even show you and explain how to you know fit the thing correctly and I haven't had to touch any of them but I had to mess around with that one with the 365 for a bit and it was the first one that I was a little bit disappointed in that it just didn't right out of the well bag as it may be fit there perfect so I went back and ordered again and ordered a uh, a carbon fiber looking one, which I think was out at the time. You know, one of those things, well, I want one now, so I'll just wait. And I'll just go ahead and buy this non-carbon fiber looking one. And yeah, I was disappointed. So when I got the carbon fiber one for it, just like all the rest of them, a dream. You know, you, you need to have, you know, uh, where it goes around the trigger guard. Ideally, if that's flush, you have it set right. You can see the the Hellcat is small enough; it only has one of the of the little tensioning bushings there. But yeah, they fit good, great retention. And then <laughs> after I got the one, uh, I ordered some stuff for Kelly, and I go, "What's the extra thing on here?" I didn't pay attention to it, you know. I accidentally ordered two of them. So once I realized what, realized what was going on, it had already shipped. So um, Amazon said that, you know, wait till you receive it and either deny the package or, or return it. So anyway, got two Hellcat Pros. Nothing happens to these. So there's no sense in keeping two of them. So I'll return one. But the old, uh, the original Hellcat, I got another you know, 13 round. This is the 11 round that's in there, the flush. And I showed you guys last time, it just allowed, it, it almost becomes the same as this. It literally feels the same almost. But, you know, you get that slight movement that I tell you guys about. I mean, that's just being nitpicky, actually. That's fine. So anyway, and I'm trying to get, you know, some more. Oh, I also got, it'll be here Monday. Um, got another, I'm just grabbing one more of everything, you know, before it passes. I may go back and get some more. Who knows? The one nice thing is when, you know, Kelly and I go out plinking or you go out with your buds or whatever, it's nice to not have to sit there and reload these things. And these, these micro compacts, you get down to the last three maybe, and you almost have to use the little, you know, 
uh, loader tool helper or the I've got that one. Yeah, I've only bought one of those. Can't think of the name of them. You, you'll know what I'm talking about if you're into them. Everybody uses them. Now you can even get them in different colors and stuff. Uh, I, that name escapes me. Anyway, I've had that for years and it's still living strong. But the Springfields come come with one. So does the little Ruger. So I got another. The Ruger is a 10 round flush. The LCP Max. So I've got another 12 round coming as well, but that'll be here uh, um, Monday. There was delay in all these things. The weather delayed everything. They must be shipping those things ground or something. Yeah, huge, huge fan of these holsters. And a bunch of you guys have commented that, uh, yeah, you, you love them too. You've discovered them and loved them and love them. I just, nothing seems to be of that quality and that precise of a fit. There's no scratching, no marring of the, of the trigger guard or anything where the retention is that clicks it in. And just like the rest of them, you know, it, it only comes out when you want it to come out. Oh, and this one's, uh, you can see this one's not optic ready. I didn't even think about that when I got this one, but. Obviously, this one needs to be optics ready. So, cool stuff. I remember like halfway waking up when I was crashed out at my desk and it was pouring down rain. It's still raining out there. Man, it's funny. All you guys talking about, you know, crazy weather you're having and stuff as well. It's It's nuts out there. Kind of a really weird spring around the whole country. And uh, it's cool when some of you guys from other countries going, yeah, you guys are almost mimicking us or or we're mimicking you, whatever. It's weird how that goes. But a nice warm riding season will be just right around the corner. And I'm looking forward to it this year. I've kind of not put that Polaris away yet because I want to um, roll it out and uh, drain the carburetor like I did with you guys that one day. That thing sure got a good workout, but good for almost 15 hours. If you got there humming away, good old Polaris. It's not, <laughs> you know, compared to like the Hondas and Yamahas we sell at work. This thing, uh, she's not real balanced. She shakes the whole porch and it rumbles, man. That It's just not a very smooth motor. I don't care. The thing was cheap. And uh, it did, did as advertised, I guess. Who knows where that thing's made. I'm sure it's just got the name plastered on it. But it did good. Uh, no no complaints at all. Sure, uh, sir, sure was a savior. That and some fresh petrol. That's all I have out of a five-gallon can. Of course, I topped off the DR and stuff because I, I took a gallon out, put a gallon back, trying to keep my fuel mileage thing. Like, why do you even care on a DR? But I do weird things like that. Anyway, I just thought I would... I talked about, you know, getting this holster. Last time we talked about these, and I was talking about getting some more magazines, and I'm... They're slowly becoming available in a, I don't know why, I think just the guns are so popular right now, these uh, particular ones. But, uh, yeah, I, I uh, found another place I'm getting um, and uh, some more for the P365 as well. It's just because that, you know, they're changing the, the law here. And if you already have them, you can legally have them. You know, after January 1st, you can't purchase, not even, so even this one, you know, it's 11 plus one right out of the box. It will become a 10 plus one. There'll be a restrictor in there and you, um, you can't have it any other way. So anyway, I'm out of bounds. Get with the mom and do a goodbye out on the porch. Well, hello there, you two. Man, oh man. Go in the house and the sun was coming out. It was beautiful. Girls are out running around. And next thing I know, I wake up and it's pitch black dark out. He went out. I didn't know cold. if it was morning. I had no idea. 
First of all, did I, did I even finish the blog? I don't think I... What did I do here? <laughs> he was very confused. Yeah. I hate that. I was out cold. Yeah, Kelly says you were snoring, snoring and everything in there. Man, I must have needed a, needed a little catcher up or something. Got slept good last night. A normal sleep. Just must have needed more. Yeah, I guess my body says... A little bit more there, Mr. Smoke. Yes. No siesta. Yeah. Good for the soul. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, I think she could sleep all the time. Yes, I could. She naps on the way to work, naps on the way home. Most of the time, not all the time. Yes. I just get her a little quiet that. moment. If I stop my rambling, I look over there, she's just Doing little that. eyes closed. <laughs> Something happens and she ah, she thinks I'm trying to scare her. No, something <laughs> happened. <laughs> well, he does try to scare me a lot. Yeah, so. I've never do that. No, never. You're pitiful. I love seeing cats jump. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves to scare the bejesus out That's of me. It's okay. I got it. a good one today. Good. Yeah, the floor checker and Jeannie were, was that. Oh, that was actually yesterday. I go thinking I'm all by myself, and I come roaming through there, and they're both bent over this, um, that razor that's sitting on the ground. Oh. We're waiting for a part. And uh, and all of a sudden, they popped up, and they go, hey, where's the VIN number on this thing? <laughs> oh, my <Oof>. Lord. <laughs> I was telling Matthew today, I had to get a broom and knock some of the tiles back into place. <laughs> I just shot straight up, boy. They're just laughing hysterical. Jeannie goes, ah, oh, he does that all the time. He's easy to scare. <laughs> Fun to scare. But anyway, I think on that, in the drizzling rain and a dog barking way off in the distance. Yes. We're going to roll out. All righty. Well, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. Hopefully it's going to be some nice days. Coming. I know. Yeah, I'm really tired of the <laughs> I don't cold. know how we Just... went from spring to summer to back to winter. I know it. We <laughs> did, though. Yep. All right. All right. Thanks now. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>